On an ordinary afternoon in southwestern China, a new span that had been hailed as a lifeline into the highlands became the scene of a dramatic and terrifying failure. What you are about to see are raw, uncut moments recorded by people on site, multiple angles from the same event, which together capture how quickly an engineered structure can go from motion to ruin. At first the bridge looks intact, a long white ribbon of roadway suspended over a green river, anchored to sheer rock faces. Residents had come to look, in places this structure felt monumental, even majestic. But moments later, without the slow build of a storm or a distant rumble to warn them, the mountainside above the approach began to move. The slope starts to slip. Dust appears. The roadbed trembles. Then it breaks apart. Concrete crashes downward, and the pillars that had held the structure seconds ago are undermined. The sound is mostly the whoosh of dust and the tumble of stone. The bridge sections fall fast, slabs of deck, reinforced concrete, handrails, a cascade of engineered pieces becoming debris. The plume of dust swallows the canyon. For those watching live, there's that stunned silence where disbelief fights panic. It's important to say this now, authorities reported no casualties from the event. The bridge had already been closed to traffic after warning signs appeared the day before. That closure likely prevented a tragic loss of life. From these images you can see that the collapse began with the approach road and roadbed, then spread through the deck and supports. The visual evidence strongly suggests that the mountain slope gave way first, undermining the approach. The ground beneath, the very earth the highway was carved into, initiated the chain reaction. As the dust cleared, the ruined spine of the bridge remained, a stark reminder of how remote terrain and sudden landslide hazards can overwhelm even new infrastructure. Later investigations pointed to slope instability aggravated by heavy rain and visible ground shifts. To anyone watching this footage now, the takeaway is visceral, the mountain moved, and the bridge, engineered to span space, had its foundations undermined. To understand why the Hongqi Bridge mattered, and why its loss is significant, we need to step back and look at what it was, and why it was built. The Hongqi Bridge was a 758-meter-long elevated structure in Sichuan Province, part of China National Highway 317, a strategic route that connects Sichuan with the Tibet Autonomous Region. Completed earlier in the year and opened to traffic in April, the bridge was intended to carve reliable access across a rugged canyon, a vital link for regional transport, economic development, and emergency access in one of China's most mountainous regions. Construction was carried out by regional road and bridge engineering groups. The bridge's final concrete pours and completion were recorded in January 2025, and it officially opened that spring. It was celebrated locally as a breakthrough in connectivity for remote communities. Budgets reported for the project vary in public summaries, but it was part of multi-hundred million RMB investments expanding the national highway network through difficult mountain terrain. Projects like this involve vast earthworks, retaining walls, and drainage systems to stabilize slopes and prevent erosion. The Hongqi Bridge crossed a canyon carved by a tributary of the Dada River, where the geology alternates between fractured rock and unstable sediment layers. Engineers had to design foundations anchored deep into rock faces and massive retaining structures to support the approach roads. On paper and in photos, the structure looked robust, an elegant concrete roadway soaring high above the gorge. But the day before the collapse, engineers and local officials noticed new cracks in nearby roads and the slopes approaching the bridge. They immediately closed the site to traffic, a decision that would prove life-saving. How does a landslide trigger a bridge failure? Bridges are designed for predictable forces, vehicles, wind, even earthquakes, but when the ground under one end of the bridge moves, the structure's load path is destroyed. The bridge loses its anchorage, the deck twists, and gravity takes over. In the Hongqi case, the slope movement removed the foundation support of the approach slab, which then collapsed and pulled down sections of deck and pillars in sequence. The process took only seconds. Investigators are studying drainage design, retaining wall geometry, slope anchoring, and rainfall data. Heavy seasonal rain is believed to have infiltrated soil layers, increasing pressure and reducing stability. 
The highest bridge's technical record notes that the Hongqi Bridge was part of a regional effort to replace older, more vulnerable routes along Highway 317. Construction required precision blasting and difficult concrete work in narrow valleys prone to rockfall. This bridge had taken roughly three years from groundbreaking to completion. Budgets were approved by provincial authorities, and work included extensive slope cutting, drainage tunnels, and concrete viaduct piers. Nothing suggested imminent danger. Yet, as engineers know, in steep country like Sichuan, risk is never zero. Continuous monitoring is critical. The Hongqi Bridge collapse reminds us that in large infrastructure projects, the invisible ground below is often as important as the visible structure above. We return now to the footage you saw at the start, but with fresh context. This bridge was newly completed, opened in April, and collapsed in November, just months later. It was part of a national strategy to modernize transport into Tibet and improve logistics and tourism. Freeze the image at the moment the slope begins to move. You can see the upper crown of the hillside fracture, a telltale line of failure. The soil mass below slides outward, stripping away the roadway base. The day before, visible cracks had already formed. Engineers noticed them, closed the bridge, and began emergency assessments. But mountain slopes can shift quickly once destabilized. A night of heavy rain and shifting subsurface pressure likely accelerated the process. The sequence in the footage matches what geotechnical specialists describe as a progressive slope collapse. The initial failure at the toe of the slope pulls away the support, transferring abnormal stress into the first piers, which then give way. Unlike failures caused by corrosion or poor concrete, this one began in the ground itself. Such events remind us that engineering in mountainous terrain demands constant vigilance. Slope stabilization, drainage, anchors, retaining structures, vegetation, must be maintained even after a project opens. Post-construction monitoring using sensors, radar, and visual inspection is standard practice. When a slope moves, early warnings can buy time, as they did here, but not always enough to prevent loss of the structure. Reports say that officials are reviewing geological surveys, comparing them to construction data, and checking whether slope reinforcement met the intended design. They will also look at rainfall, drainage channels, and warning system performance. The questions are technical but urgent, did the design match the actual ground conditions? Were the retaining walls deep enough? Were monitoring systems active and staffed? For future projects, these answers will matter. China's western provinces contain some of the most challenging environments for infrastructure on Earth, steep mountains, seismic faults, and intense rain. The Hongqi Bridge collapse will likely influence design codes and inspection regimes for similar projects nationwide. As we watch the final frames of the footage, the broken deck lies in the valley below, dust rising against the green slopes. Emergency crews and engineers stand on the surviving edge, looking across the gap. The image is haunting. An ambitious structure meant to unite regions has itself been divided. The Hongqi Bridge was both a symbol of progress and a lesson in humility. The forces of nature in these mountains are powerful, and engineering, no matter how advanced, must respect that balance. Its fall underscores that the dialogue between nature and construction never ends. Each project teaches what calculations cannot predict. For the communities along Highway 317, the loss is temporary, the bridge will be rebuilt, safer and more resilient. But for the world of engineering, this collapse will remain a case study, a reminder that progress must walk hand in hand with precaution. The footage you've seen today captures more than the fall of a bridge. It captures the instant when human achievement meets the living, shifting planet beneath it. That meeting point, between structure and earth, between confidence and caution, is where the story of Hongqi Bridge will always live. Despite precautions, the terrain's natural instability remained a hidden risk.